Google IT Support Certificate. I stumbled across this certification when I was doing research on entry-level IT certifications. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this certificate to find out whether it is worth it or it is a waste of time. According to Google, this IT certification is targeted towards those that are starting the journey in the IT industry. They promise to teach in-demand skills and make you job ready in six months. The course is made up of five modules and it is delivered by five different instructors who are delivering video content. And within the course itself, there are practice exams or quizzes that you need to complete. And at the end, it's these quizzes put together that then allow you to then become certified. The course also provides practice labs, which um, allow you hands-on practice on virtual infrastructure. From a cost perspective, depending on where you are, it is $49 US a month, and that is over six months. So in total, you're looking at 294. The course, once again, is made out of five modules. The first one is technical support fundamentals. And this basically introduces you to PC hardware, software, and troubleshooting PC issues. You basically look at the structure of a computer, um, input, output devices, the motherboard, anything to do with the introduction of how computers function. The second course looks at the bits and bytes of computer networking, and it introduces you to the OSI layer, TCP IP, DNS, and DHCP. The third uh, uh, course then looks at operating systems. This is where you look at the GUI in Windows and Linux uh, command line interface. You look at permission structures and the file systems in these two operating systems. Then the fourth course then looks at systems administration and IT infrastructure. This is where you go a bit deeper looking at the roles of a systems admin, what a systems admin does on a day-to-day -day basis, and then going into looking at Active Directory, uh, LDAP, and things like backups. And then it closes off by looking at IT security. Uh, you look at encryption algorithms, authentication systems, security risks, and attacks. So these are the five courses that basically make up this particular course. So what is my take? From a course content perspective, this course basically combines what you find in the CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, a bit of Security+, Plus, and Linux, and kind of brings it off into one particular course, taking a few bits from each certification. And for me, this is great for someone who's starting their journey in the IT industry because you're going to have touch points in different aspects of IT, which is necessary to equip you with the skills as you get into the industry. The labs that they provide are great for providing hands-on practice for people without equipment. I took the liberty of going through the certification just so that I can be able to give an honest review of someone who has basically gone through the content. And like I said, I went through the labs and the, the virtual environment that they provide, you know, allows you access into platforms such as Linux or Windows. And you got step-by-step -step instructions that then help you to configure those respective requirements, which in, which in turn then gives you the exposure that you need. However, these are my concerns. The course is only delivered by Coursera. As of the recording of this video, there's no one else in the market who is doing material related to this course. If you read the reviews, there's been concerns on the, the instructors and how they have delivered content in this particular course. One of the major concerns is the fact that most of the instructors are reading off a script and people fail 
to engage. Now, I understand that we all learn differently. There are positive reviews on the instructors. That is not my focus. The point that I'm just trying to highlight is if you have an issue with the way the instructors are delivering the content, because they are not third-party vendors that are doing video material or courses in relation to this particular certification, there is no alternative that is available on the market. So you're basically stuck with the instructors and there's no other option. For me, the, the worthiness or the value of a certification is equivalent to who in the market is producing content for that particular certification. So if you look at courses such as A+, CCNA, AWS, we've got companies such as CBT Nuggets, Pluralsight, um, uh, Cloud Guru, all producing content as third-party vendors for that particular course. When you find a certification not having third-party vendors providing content, then you start asking yourself the question, why is there no one producing content for this particular course? So let us look at reading material, and it probably gets worse from here. There's no official textbooks on the market for this particular course. If you go through the course itself, the reading material points you to Wikipedia documents, and that is a bit concerning for me. Wikipedia, to start with, is not a reliable source for information. That's the first one. The second one is that Wikipedia documents don't have people curating them. So it's difficult to find a Wikipedia document that is structured to teach someone who is starting in IT about a particular concept. I looked into you know, one or two of their reference reading materials and I was a bit disappointed to see the reference document pointing you towards RFCs or request for comment documentation to understand concepts such as IP addressing because some of these documents are so detailed that even someone who's got industry experience would struggle interpreting them. And, you know, to ask someone who's learning about IP addressing to go to such journals is a bit far-fetched. It would have been good if there was a textbook on the market that could take someone on a step-by-step -step basis explaining some of these concepts to help them understand this lack of textbooks is a huge red flag. One of two things, either third-party vendors in the market don't see value in the certification or the certification is still young and hasn't gained momentum to the extent of attracting you know, uh, publishers to make textbooks and content specifically for the particular course. Now, coming to the, the part that matters the most to most people, job market and recognition. Good certifications are recognized worldwide. If you do come to your A+, you are assured that doesn't matter where you go in the world, organizations recognize the certification. This is similar with Cisco certification. But it seems that with the Google IT support certificate, it is only recognized in North America. I did not see any job portals across the world that are asking for this particular certification. Most companies are asking for A+, and even in their documentation, they mention that this course prepares you for A+. So if I had a choice to pursue A+, or the Google IT certification, from a recognition perspective, CompTIA is more recognized on the market and by employers. And for those who know me, I'm not so much focused on the certification itself, but I also cannot deny that a certification gives you an added advantage when you're looking for a job on the market. If you're going to have Google IT support professional in your resume and employers are not looking for it, from a job market perspective, it is not doing anything to enhance your opportunity of getting a job. I would advise, if I was advising someone for now, 2022, you rather go for CompTIA certifications. So in conclusion, is this certificate worth it or not? The content, as I said, is good, but the content is similar to A plus and Network Plus. The advantage of A plus and Network Plus is the fact that you have different textbooks on the market and you've got different companies offering training. So if you don't like one, you can choose another. And if you're not understanding the trainer, you can open the textbook and read the content. And in the case of the Google IT certification, there is no external vendor, there is no textbook. So you are stuck with the person who's delivering the course. The lack of external providers is concerning 
and is a red flag in as much as the course is concerned. The lack of formal examination outside of the quizzes that you then go through in this particular course also leaves a lot to be desired because then there is no way of validating that the person with the certificate indeed was the person who completed the course. Someone can hire someone else to do the course on their behalf. Could that be the same with computer certifications? Maybe not, because you have to go through a proctor and a proper, an exa and a proper examination system. And thus, the, there is much greater credibility in computer certifications in as much as the person who wrote the exam and the person with the certificate as compared to this particular Google certificate. Not much recognition on the job market because most people are pursuing certification to further enhance their opportunities on the market. And if the course is not recognized, yes, you might acquire the knowledge, but once again, it doesn't give you any, any added advantage when you're applying for a job. And this is one of those courses that at the present moment, if you're not in North America, there is very minimal added advantage in acquiring the certification. And then closing off, I feel the course is good. It's not yet mature or it's still growing to recognition. Uh, maybe in the couple of years to come, the course will gain much better recognition and employers can probably you know, start asking for it. But at the present moment, no one is demanding this course for entry-level jobs. So personally, I would not recommend anyone to pursue this certification unless if the company is paying for you. So that is my take. Uh, please take the time to go through the course. It does have a free version, but it doesn't provide exams and you're not recognized, but you still have access to the content. It's called authored mode. So for those that want to pursue the knowledge, go and do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.